of you can hear clearly yes sir yes sir yes sir This is going to be your first physics H191 lab. Okay. And here you have to perform uh, some experiments. Three to four of them will be based on those topics which you read in your class 11 modern physics books. And the rest experiments you will you have already read in the modern physics part of the class 12 book. So you have to recollect those topics here. I am telling you again that is some of your experiments will be from the class 11 syllabus of determination of respective rigidity modulus like Young's modulus. Rigid, modulus of rigidity. So these types of the things you have to measure experimentally in this lab. In the part two, you have to, or the second part of the uh, second set of the experiments will be. You have to do some experiments which will be based on the class 12 modern physics chapter. Is it clear? Hello? Yes, sir. Hmm. So, what I have just had told that the sum of your experiments will be based on the topics. Some of them will be from hmm, three to four experiments in the beginning. You have to measure respective rigidity modulus or Young's modulus from class 11 topics. And the rest experiments will be based on the modern physics topics in class 12. You have read like determination of Planck's constant, uh, verification of Bohr's theory, and determination of the value of the E by M. So, likewise, this you have to do all these things. Okay. Uh, so, better uh, today. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
নতুন রুটি নিশ্চয় All of you can hear me. Yes, sir. Okay. So where I was left, you have to do some experiments. Okay. It will be better you just write the name uh, uh, of them. These uh, six experiments which I am going to write now. So, can you hear me clearly? Yes, sir. Good. So, write uh, the name. First one will be determination of rigidity modulus by statical method. Determination of rigidity modulus by dynamic method. Determination of Young's modulus using flexor method. Sir, repeat it from number one. Okay. Determination of rigidity modulus by dynamic method. Determination of rigidity modulus by static method. And determination of Young's modulus using flexor method. Fourth experiment will be uh, uh, verification of Bohr theory in using Frankhard's experiment. So repeat once again. Very Verification of Bohr's theory, Bohr's atomic orbital theory, using Frank Hard's experiment. Fifth experiment will be determination of uh, E by M, specific charge of an electron, E by M ratio means charge to mass ratio of an electron uh, by J.J. Thompson setup and six will be uh, you have to find out means, uh, finding out the value of Planck's constant using a photo cell so fourth will be Verification of Bohr's theory using Frank Hart's experiment. Fifth will be uh, uh, determination of E by M ratio, charge to mass ratio of an electron using J.J. Uh, Thompson setup. And the last one will be, sixth will be what I just had told. You have to find out value of Planck's constant using a photo cell. Clear? So these six experiments you have to do in the first set of experiments which after joining here, clear? Then some more experiments you have to do in the second part. But these six experiments, out of these six, first three begins to your modern, sorry, your first year, sorry, your class 11's uh, general properties of motor, uh, matter section where you have read them respective rigidity modulus and the last few will be belong to your class 12 syllabus here so these topics based from the next class you will directly get uh, you will be provided the videos okay and the equipments and probably some online uh, problems also will be provided from here but for today just search on google 
showing this name, you will get some simple idea. In the, the language of Google's websites, everything is much simpler or everything is much simpler way written than the normal book which you have to read but later for your having your beginning idea just search on your google and youtube you will get some idea then get some question and it will be best for us to explain these things you have to clarify <coughs> all these things okay so that you can just means uh, you can explain uh, them by yourself you can generate questions by yourself and you can answer our questions yeah. okay then you it will be best for understanding you about this these will be your future going experiments okay now is it clear all of you what i have told the name of the experiments which i just have told you have to get some introductory idea from google will be your best don't read it too much on the google either just have some idea okay because don't make it too complicated just have some idea what you are doing <coughs> now in the beginning part of your experiments you have to do two experiments using uh, slide calibers and a screw gauge what is a slide calibers you have used these things these two things slide calibers and a screw gauge what are they slide calipers or vernier where we use them if you uh, means uh, uh, i think all of you know the use of different scales why we need different scales because when we <coughs> you want to go from <coughs> measure the distance from here to kolkata you have to use kilometer and when you, you want to measure some distance within your home you have to use meters okay so this choice of scale depends on the means what the object you are measuring so here in this experiments two basic instruments you have already used these experiments in earlier classes i don't think you have too much experience with them but at least you know what screw gauge and slide calipers are Okay. Means, uh, what is the smallest divisions of a millimeter scale? It is one millimeter. Now, what is the least count of this experiment? It will be one millimeter. Least count means any thing which you can measure <coughs> using a smallest value. Which exactly you can tell. Don't approximate and just exactly you can tell one meter, one millimeter with a one millimeter division scale now uh, where these uh, you are watching something whose lengths you can see by eye are of little difference but still they are coming in the same millimeter scale same divisions you have to tell that they are of same value you cannot tell exactly using a millimeter scale what is the value because there is no provision over there that's why you have to introduce a scale which is just kept exactly parallel with the main millimeter scale and whose smallest divisions will be slightly smaller than that of one millimeter in the smallest divisions of the main scale now what will be here the value of the smallest uh, least count of these setup where two parallel scales are kept with uh, one at uh, one smallest division is of length one millimeter and the another one is of 
just slightly less than that so what will be the length of that means the difference of the means total length of this can you the smallest divisions will be here or the least count of the setup is not the length of the smallest scale smallest divisions of the smallest scale so but you have to first know what will be that value value means i am telling again that is in vernier scale smallest division is slightly less than the mains millimeter scale hmm. but we don't know ex its exact value we have to calculate it how we can calculate it because we will uh, keep the starting of the main scale and the vernier scale at same length same starting point then we will see again whose where they are going to coincide again then you can tell that the length of that vernier is equal that amount of divisions length of the millimeter scale i am telling again this part that is first of all set to zero of these two scales main scale and vernier scale same point then find out again where they are going to coincide okay that means say uh, 10th divisions of the vernier scale is coinciding with the nine divisions of the main scale coinciding means where they again get uh, means at here the object of measuring which you are going to measure is of that length which length it is one, uh, 1 mm scale a certain number of divisions which is coinciding with the vernier scales another number of co div uh, divisions then from equating these two means 10 divisions of vernier scale equals 9 divisions of main scale's length then one divisions of vernier scale will be equals 9 by 10 times of main scale now 9 by 10 times of main scale here you know the 9 by 10 times of main scale means is of 1 mm that means the value of the vernier will be 9 by 10 into 1 mm means it will be 0.9 mm is it clear hello now obhishek yes sir is it clear why the value of the vernier's uh, division is uh, of length 0.9 mm Were you listening, Orijit? Will you tell me, <coughs> Orijit? Yes, sir. Hmm. Can you explain why the smallest divisions of the Vernier scale is coming 0.9 millimeter? Shubham. Yes, sir. Sir, Ujit? sir, I have network problem, sir. Sir, I could not hear properly. Okay. Uh. Ovijit, Shaw, Ovijit Shaw. Adrita, Onish. Oritro, you can't hear me. Hello. Vikram, can you hear me? Hello, sir. Hmm. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. But sometimes your voice is lagging. That's why I cannot understand properly. Okay. See, I am telling again. So all of you have. I am. Uh, uh, I am telling from the beginning. Hello. Yeah. Okay, I am telling again. Yes, sir. Uh, 
Sir, as uh, uh, sir, can I tell? Uh, sir, uh, as there are ten divisions of one year scale equals to the nine division of main scale. Therefore, mm. one division of one year scale will be equals to point nine divisions of main scale. Hmm. Uh, now like here. Uh, vernier scale and the main scale which divisions whose value was given earlier aritra whose divisions uh, you know already vernier scale no main scale main scale sorry sir sorry sir main scale <coughs> what is that value you know it is 1 mm Hello. yes sir uh, one mm yes sir okay So, what is the yes, least sir. count of uh, the main scale? What zero is the point nine? No, no, no. Main one, scale. I one minus, about. sir. One minus zero point uh, nine. No, no. I am just asking. What is the least count of main scale? Only main scale. It is one millimeter. <coughs> Or it's true. I have to start from the beginning because you have listened, but the others. Have network problem, so I am telling it from the beginning. Okay, okay. That is okay. Uh, let me tell these things again. Then I am going to ask you questions. First of all, huh? Uh, so I think all of you have got this idea of what I am talking about. What it is a milli? You have a millimeter scale in normally in your geometry box, isn't it? Now what? That millimeter scale contains a scale with one millimeter. Uh, smallest division is one millimeter. Okay. Next, you have to measure a length which is smaller than this one. Okay. So what you can do? You have to use another scale whose zero will be at the zero of this main scale, and whose A greater number of divisions will coincide with less number of divisions on the main scale. Is it clear? We come. Yes, sir. Yes. What sir. I have told. Hmm? Yes, sir. Yes, sir means. What you have to do? You have to use a scale, Bernier scale. Okay, whose greater number of divisions must be coincide with the. Less number of divisions on the main scale. Okay. Uh, can you explain why? We will tell. Or it throw. Why in the Vania scale you have to use a greater number of division, which will coincide with the main scale. Then it will be a useful scale for you. Can you explain? Ojit. Width. Object. Odita. Onis, why no one is un uh, not answering? I can hear everything, but the students are not giving answer. Why? Hello. Hmm. No. Hello, students. No. Kunal Kesh, can you hear me? Kunal Kesh, can you hear me? Smia. Yeah. 
Udayan, can you hear me? Try to give the answer. Otherwise, it is not possible to follow the lab. If anyone has any problem, then ask Sarah or me. Ask the question. So why are you just silent? For every student, microphone is not working. It can't be possible. Shonjibda? answer uh, They are not giving any answer. Hmm. What is it? Yes, sir. Hmm. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Okay. So, where I was in the last, how you will or why you have to use a slight caliber? Why? So <coughs> don't know, sir. Don't know. Okay. Uh, means actually, when you have to measure something using a millimeter scale, you can see that they are of different length. Their end point is coinciding at different points, but they are too close to measure. That's why at that time you have to use a smaller scale that will be slight calibers. In a slight calibers, what, how these slight calibers is constructed means where a greater a scale with uh, whose greater number of length divisions will be covered, a uh, smaller number of lengths in the main scale. That means the greater number of the scales in the main scale, uh, slide calibers. For example, if 10 divisions of 1 year caliber is coinciding with 9 divisions of a main scale. That means 1 division of a slide calibers length will be 9 by 10 times to that of 1 main scale division. Now, what is the length of one main scale division? It is one millimeter. One that millimeter. means nine. Okay. That means what will be the length of one smallest one year scale division? It will be nine by ten into one millimeter. Means 0 0.9 into one millimeter. So the total length will be point. Uh, total length of one one year smallest division will be 0 0.9 nine. millimeter. Okay. Kunal, is it clear? Yes, Yes, sir. Okay. How how you have got it? Sir, nine, nine, hmm? sir, 9 by 10 into the uh, 1 millimeter of the uh, that why you, scale. Why you have multiplied 9 by 10 with 1 millimeter? Sir, uh, 9 division of the uh, main scale <coughs> is coinciding with the 10 division of the vernier caliper. Ah. Okay. Hmm. Anish? Hmm. No one is responding, so... <clears throat> uh, but it is... So, where you have reached, Kunal, uh, it is one division of the... Uh, value of the one smallest division of the base scale is one millimeter. And value of one smallest division of the vernier is uh, 0.9 millimeter. Yes, sir. Okay. But neither of these two value is the least count of the setup. Then what will be the least count of the setup? Which length is still smaller? When you keep these two scale parallelly and adjacent to each other, still one more length there is which is you can see directly which you can tell this is the smallest length you can tell exactly what is your that length it is a difference of one smallest vernier scale 
to that of one smallest main scale divisions that divisions means that 1 mm minus 0.9 mm of the main scale to vernier scale means that 0.1 mm gap between one smallest divisions of main scale to vernier scale will be the least count of this setup okay now from the next class onwards you will be directly provided with the detail of the screw gauge and slide calipers with photo video and everything will be submitted to you you will be operate with that one uh, virtually you will be if possible maybe you can operate with them okay and we will give you everything on them in the name for uh, from the next class but before that i think you can get some idea from google and youtube how to use them you can have some idea then from the next class which will be provided by us you can use them now anish can you hear me anish vikram Joy. Yes, sir. What I had told. How? Uh, what is the least count to, uh, of a Bardier calipers? Uh, the difference between the uh, Bardier uh, Bardier calipers to the main calipers that is one millimeter minus zero point nine millimeter, zero point zero zero point one millimeter. Hmm. That smallest length. Kanchon. Kanchon shorter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm? Is it clear? Yes, sir. What is the smallest length on a Vanier calipers? Sir, one uh, millimeter mm. uh, minus zero uh, point nine millimeter of a of a main main scale. Mm. Yes, Good. Koshik. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mano. What is least uh, least count? One of Nondini. Yes, sir. What is least count of a setup? Sir, can I tell? Mm hmm. Sure. Uh, the smallest value that can be measured by any measuring instrument is called its least uh, least count. Okay. Chanchal. Joy. Yes, sir. What is least count? The least count. Uh... The difference between the main scale and the vernier scale that is one millimeter minus zero point zero nine millimeter, zero point zero one millimeter. Shilpa. Yes, sir. What is least count? Sir, the smallest distance that we measure in the uh, difference between main scale and vernier scale that is zero point one millimeter is least. Sweet. What is least count? Sweet. Udayan. Should have Udayan's mic. How do you know? Pranay? Okay. Uh, so, your mic is work, uh, working. So, what is least count of a setup? Okay, and what is uh, how will you means where you will use this term? What is least count? Least count means the least uh, thing you can measure. Hmm. And uh, 
so likewise the so up to barnier calipers it is clear so you have to use another one for more precision that will be screw gauge what is a screw gauge i think this also you have seen in your class okay uh, in 8 to 9's books you have read in 11 to 12's uh, also you have some problem regarding this screw gauge what is a screw gauge? It is a means a along a linear scale, a circular screw moves okay, such that you can measure the linear shift in terms of circular shift or by the rotation of that cover. On that cover, 100 divisions are marked here. Uh, in the slide calipers, 10 divisions of the slide calipers were coinciding with the 9 uh, divisions of the main scale. But in screw gauge, uh, when you shift or rotate that screw, means 100 divisions will completely rotate over a line and it will move linearly by 1 millimeter. That means here actually your uh, means precision is getting 10 times lower than that of the uh, list count which you get from the slide calibers means here it will be much more accurate so to get those length difference which is coming same on the slide calipers you can differ between them by using a screw gauge so this screw gauge also you have read too many times too much times earlier and you can see some idea on the net and from the next class we will provide you with uh, means uh, screw gauge and uh, videos also over there then you have to use them now using the slide calipers and screw gauge you have to do two experiments here one will be of Measure, measuring the rigidity modulus of different material. Rigidity modulus means uh, you, uh, you got this term from this term, it is clear that is the rigidness or toughness of any material when you measure this flexibility or toughness in terms of some formula, you can call them the modulus of rigidity. Okay, likewise, suppose you want to make a book, so you have to choose its page with more flexible paper, whereas you have to choose its cover with more hard paper. The material will be same, <coughs> but only what, how they differ, uh, I'm not talking about all the copies, but in most of them these basic rules are followed you can see some soft cover also but uh, the general format of any book or copy if you see most of them i am telling most of them not all most of them will be such that the cover will be hard and the inner pages are soft inner pages are flexible and hard covers will be very hard so how this word in internet, it is a rigidity of the outer cover is uh, means higher and the inner covers, inner pages are much more flexible. So similarly, if you see your mobile phone, the cover is or the phone is it's by itself much more tough, the wire, its plastic cover, all are much more flexible. So you, we choose them according to their re means so flexibility means like a bottle of water or anything when you look around your means around your outside okay everywhere you will see that nature follows like this that is suppose a tree if you see its core is very tough its leaves are very flexible so so you can tell that nature actually 
means uh, follows this difference in rigidity. Okay, is actually not only by us, its nature also something like this. Okay, means you cannot get everything which are almost or nearly or same flex uh, rigid or same flexible. Everything, whenever you see any object for one purpose, one thing's purpose or one part's purposes, you have to use a more rigid part, whereas another part will must be some flexible part. So this will be your comparison of rigidity. That's why in class 11 you got this to turn modulus of rigidity. Why you read them like this? Okay. Means later when particularly for you, the engineers, uh, you have to clearly identify this comparison. Why you have to compare, know this comparison of the material? Because later you have to means uh, do many uh, things knowing the uh, value of the or the nature of the variation of the rigidity or different material you have to you should have some idea how they compare how they measure okay that's why here in the physics lab your beginning experience will be them hmm. and that's why you have to first be introduced with those instruments which will be your basic beginning instrument a slide calipers and a screw gauge is it clear shilpa pranay Unai, Obijit, Yes, sir. Why we have to uh, know these things, Rigidity modulus or Young's modulus? Why you read them? Obijit. Sir, to measure the uh, toughness or flexibility. Okay. Uh, why you have to measure toughness or flexibility on each? On each. Vikram. Aritro. Yes, sir. Why you measure them? Sir, to get the uh, different levels of flexibility of various materials. Ha. Give some example. I told you three examples, sir, uh, like a mobile and mobile cover. Yes, they are of yes, different sir, and, uh, uh, flexibility. For example, if we uh, get the... Um, if we measure the uh, flexibility of a tree, no, 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 I am uh, 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 there. I am just uh, uh, just example other than for, for which I have told. Okay, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Anyone, uh, mm -hmm. just look around and tell anything who have different uh, rigidity at different sir, parts. Uh, if we take the example of a uh, rubber band. Uh, the more we stretch it, the it the more uh, it will get flexible. Mm. Rubber band is almost uniform uh, rigidity. When you make any object with rubber band, make something, then it, uh, they, you can tell that they are of with different rigidity. Yes, sir. Okay. Object. Yes, sir. Give one example. Other than these. See and tell one name of one object who have different rigidity at different part. Tell, Obijek. 
सर सपोज सर टायर अरिजीत the core of the tire and the grip of the tire they are of different flexibility why can you explain ohit yes sir can you explain Or is he told that tires outside is more tough, rigid, and the core is much more flexible? Why you have to do sir, that? Sir, the uh, outer portion is tough so that sir it does not affect the tires from bursting and uh, the roughness of the road. Sir, it will really, uh, because of friction, sir. And sir, the inner core is uh, is soft. Sir, because sir, object you told. Yes, sir. Uh, Anish, you want to tell a tire's outside core is much rigid and the inner core is much soft or less rigid. Why? Sir, the outer part of the tire, sir. Uh... So the friction, uh, ah, friction will increase the outer the part, roads. and the core is to core's design is something like to reduce the friction of the road, isn't it? Yes, sir. What is it? You told the Bikram. Can you hear me, Bikram? Yes, sir. Hmm. Tires core and a is green. They are of different rigid. Why? Explain. Ah, uh, because sir, um, due to friction, sir, ah, uh, outer core of tire. Hmm. The outer grips are off to increase friction, and the inner core is off due to. Is making the friction less. Minimum. Chonchol. Chonchol. Boy. Yes, sir. Give some example like this tire. Is it? Is this uh, part of the tire is clear to you? Yes, sir. Very good. Uh, still, you are not tired. Though you have got plenty of tire, still Joy is not tired, isn't it? So you must give some example like this, which you can see around you. Hmm. hmm? Let me think. Sir, iron in a machinery, in a machine, sir, iron has different rigidity according to its use. Hmm. That's why you have to study them here. You have to make those experiments here. Next, chalo. Koshik, Koshik, are you sleeping? Kusha and Kunal. Manob. Nandini, all are sleeping. Pranay, uh, 
রাজদীপ শিলা ইউ আর নিউ চলো সুমিত সুমিত So from the next class, you should know all these things which I have told. You will be provided with some uh, screw gauge here in labs, screw gauge and slide calipers, the view of uh, them, the figure of them and the video of them will be provided to you. First of all, we will show you using them. The experiments from here then you have to participate virtually from your home over here clear so up to now yeah, let's sum up what you have read so today first of all what you did you first uh, means got introduced with the six experiments of your first part of the semester's experiments you have to do something more but in this first part you have to do these six experiments you have got the names of them first three was be, uh, related with respect uh, is finding out of the respective modulus of rigidity and the last three were uh, based on the modern physics and then you uh, actually you After doing all this, you have to do something more that will be the second last part of the setup or the semester. Next, you have got introduced with the slide calipers and a screw gauge. How you have to use slide calipers here? And I am repeatedly telling you have to better got acquainted with these experiments and the screw gauge and slide calipers with the YouTube videos here. Okay, we from the next class we will give you them from here and you have to please participate online from your home with us. Is it clear? So any question from here? Any question today? Which one came to your mind? Anyone? Anything you can ask? So steel and concrete can be the example of flex uh, modulus rigidity. Mm, but I was asking uh, uh, different so modulus rigidity what you told. I was asking exactly the thing where you are using. So name the thing where you are using them. Name the object. There are plenty of objects. You just tell the name. I made sir, with them. Steel plate sir. Steel and plate con concrete. No, sir. Uh, it is yeah. made up of steel. Uh, I am uh, uh, asking. Okay, you are telling the uh, means the components. I am just asking the using these components, you framed uh, an object. Just name that. Anything which you have seen, you have not seen any slabs which are built in your home anywhere around your home you have not seen any wall anywhere yes sir. both these were used that object you will see the difference rigidity okay both are needed both are important uh, both have their own requirements you cannot focus only on one thing and you cannot ignore them okay so okay. means something particularly uh, like friction okay you we use friction to increase and uh, sometimes 
we use them intentionally, sometimes we deduce them intentionally. Okay. For example, like a car, you use a tire to reduce friction because rolling friction is the least friction. You use lubricant okay, on the respective parts of the wheel. Why? So that to reduce friction, so that it can move properly. Isn't it? So over there or everywhere, we need them like this. When you use uh, in a football match, I think you have seen, you use a grip. Okay, what is that grip? On your spikes. You have seen, you have played in time football with a spiky uh, spike boot. You have played any time? Yes, sir. Hmm. The runner uses spikes, so they are to increase friction. Isn't it? And uh, anything over there you can tell which one is to reduce friction. Can you give some example? Is the grass to decrease friction? Grass, sir. Uh, instead of uh, <coughs> very hard ground. <coughs> Mud grass, also, sir. Uh, grass, now, what do we again? Another format of friction. So, all we need is in a balanced way. Okay, where the friction is more, you have to reduce it. Where the friction is less, will fall. Okay, so you will stop, and when friction is less, you will fall. So you have to balance between all these things. Nature, the whole nature balance in these things. Hmm. So, any other question? I have to take your attendance. Just uh, wait. So. Uh. Just wait. ITF1 batch is here, no? ITF1? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, you are up to roll number 30? 1 to 30? No, I... Is it? Roll number 1? Present, sir. 2? Present, sir. 3? Sir, roll number 1 was Kunal Kesh. There's a 3 present. Four. Present, sir. Five. Present, sir. Six. Present, sir. Seven. Seven. Eight. Nine. Present, sir. Nine. Present, sir. Ten. Eleven. Present, 12, sir. Eleven. Present, sir. Kanchan, you are eleven or twelve? Sir, eleven. Twelve. Present, sir. Thirteen. Fourteen. 
फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन यस सर प्रेजेंट सर सिक्सटीन प्रेजेंट सर सेवेंटीन प्रेजेंट सर एटीन एटीन नाइनटीन पेन सर ट्वेंटी प्रेजेंट सर ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू प्रेजेंट सर ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव प्रेजेंट सर सर ट्वेंटी फाइव प्रेजेंट ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी सिक्स ट्वेंटी सेवन प्रेजेंट सर ट्वेंटी एट प्रेजेंट सर ट्वेंटी नाइन प्रेजेंट सर थर्टी प्रेजेंट सर क्लियर इट इज़ द लास्ट सर ट्वेंटी थ्री प्रेजेंट सर ट्वेंटी थ्री हाँ यू गेव सर रोल नंबर वन कुनाल के सर प्रेजेंट हाँ आप तो सर रोल नंबर सर थर्टी वन माँ सर रोल नंबर थ्री प्रेजेंट हाँ आई तू व्हाट इज़ द लास्ट रोल नंबर थर्टी वन थर्टी टू इज़ गिविंग अटेंडेंस थर्टी वन इज द लास्ट रोल नंबर एंड थर्टी टू इज गिविंग अटेंडेंस एनी वन लेफ्ट सो इट इज मीन्स देन इट इज वाई फॉर टूडे फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट क्लास ऑन वर्ड्स Sharp at three, we uh, will start here, and you will be provided with some uh, videos also, which you can use from there. But before that, try to get some idea from Google, which uh, I just give you in the name of the experience. Just read them and search and read. Okay. Bye. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.